I want to start by saying, don't care about somebody just when they're down. Yo, I'm hurting. This is probably like <laughs> my 11th take. Just trying to <laughs> articulate how I'm feeling. If you deal with a mental illness and you've opened up to somebody else about how you feel and they completely shut it down or have given you a negative reaction, I promise I feel your pain. This could be parents, siblings, people who you thought were your closest friends. You never know. The person that you actually least expected to give you a negative reaction gives you one. That's the person I'm talking about. Have you gone through that experience? I, DT Nation, I, I've read a few of your comments before of saying, I've opened up and told my dad and told my mom how I felt. And they said they didn't believe me. They didn't take me seriously. And when I, when I hear that and I read those messages, it's actually surprising how common this is. But should we really see should we really be surprised anymore? Should we today because after it's 2021 it's 20 excuse me. It is 2021, y'all. If mental health has not been improving in the past 5 10 years, it's only getting worse. It's only getting worse. So what do we do? Do you care? Do you want this to keep going? I'm going to ramble and, and jump on topic a bit. I really don't think this world cares about people that deals with mental illnesses. I think that as soon as a person is diagnosed with a mental illness, the world deems them as unable to take care of themselves. They deem them as someone that is now too sensitive, irrational, and unable to function properly in society. And, and personally, that stigma is actually what's causing so many people to not go seek therapy, to not seek physical, emotional you know, well-being and, and actionable steps to help their overall well-being improve. I think because of that stigma, it makes people shut down, shy away from talking to others, and honestly deal with their own mental battles themselves. You know, talking about these things is not easy. And that's not your problem either, but I'm just simply saying talking about these things is not easy. Why? Who's making this not easy? I don't mind talk listen, I don't mind talking to you about how you're feeling and what you're going through. I don't mind talking to you about why you can't get out of bed. I don't mind how long you take. See, I don't mind how emotional you're being if you cry in front of me because you're going through something. And I think that every human goes through something from time to time. So this is your time that you're going through something. So let me hear you out. What happened to empathy? What happened to emotional care? Technology. I want to I wanna ask a question to you. Is social media real life? No. If somebody is showing you support on your social media account, are they showing you support in your real life? No. 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 
we have placed technological intelligence and advancements over emotional intelligence and mental health. Please tell me I'm wrong. Look at the statistics. Look at the suicide rates. Look at the amount of people don't not wanting to go back to work and going to work on location and feeling depressed. Look at the mass shootings. Look at, you know, look at all these things that's happening in the world, not just in America, in the world today because of our lack of prioritizing our mental health and emotional health. I want to... Okay, why, why? it's like, what, what's the point? What's the point of all this? Listen, man, the point is this. This world is f***ed up. And I just want you to know, I'm talking I am talking directly to the person that deals with depression. Like, I'm talking about the person that seriously feels like they can't talk to nobody. And you know this stuff is serious. And you actually go through it and you actually experience it. And you take it seriously and you're like, damn, something's wrong with me or something's going on with me or I wish I could change. I wish I was different. I wish I never dealt with this in the first place. I'm talking about those people. Listen, this world is f***ed up, okay? It is. And don't change. Please don't change who you are just because how messed up the world is. Do not change. You are not crazy for dealing with depression. You are not insane. You are not over the top, too sensitive, too, like you're overthinking. Like you're not. You're not. And not everybody, honestly, believes that. As soon as you tell somebody that you deal with depression, as soon as you tell somebody that, you know, I have anxiety and, and I, I do this, I have panic attacks or something, as soon as you tell somebody that, they instantly see you differently. They, they instantly will try to almost use your, mental health, use your mental illness against you or use your mental illness as a crutch for why you're taking the certain actions you take or wear what you wear and say what you say. But it's not true. I would even argue the people that deal with anxiety and depression the most actually are more aware of life than everybody else. Like everybody else. <laughs> the people that deal with sadness and hopelessness more often tend to emotionally understand other people better than the people that don't struggle with emotionally being happy all the time. I don't care if you believe me. I, I want to end this video because I'm hurting. I'm feeling pain inside from how much for how much this has happened to me in my life of sharing how I feel and it being stumped on by others around me. So Please know you're not alone. I'm fighting with you. DT Nation. Don't change who you are for anyone else. Life is too damn short. You live your best life. You manage your mental health. You get that bad boy in check. That's what matters most. Not the opinions of others, not the false or incorrect or honestly not shocking doubts of others um of why you deal with what you do through when they don't even deal with the mental illness themselves okay <laughs> so i i love you man i love you just the way you are man mental illness and all all right mental illness and all i still love you you are still amazing. You can still be amazing. You still are amazing. You're still worth it. You're not worthless. You're more than enough already with who you are today, in this second, in this second right now. Don't forget that. If you found this video helpful, if this video just at least showed you there is someone in the world that is experiencing 
something similar to what you're experiencing or going through what you're, you're what or or I've said something that you feel like, dang, I'm going through something very similar, then I do suggest you hit that subscribe button because the older I get, honestly, the more I'm able to express and articulate what I'm going through. And it helps me. And each time I learn something new, I share it here on this YouTube channel. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and we're going to grow in our mental health together. <laughs> Lastly, if you want to follow me on my own mental health journey, then you can follow me on Instagram at Depression Talks 1. Uh, I love, you know, posting different dance videos, art, and creativity that helps me express my mental health. So again, that's Instagram at Depression Talks 1. I am okay because I will be okay. Regardless if that person, those people, this society wants me to be or not, I'm going to be okay. You're going to be okay. We got this. All right. I think it's time to end the video. As I always say, do you stay swagalicious and keep smiling? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Peace.